And, and we, we are live, folks. <laughs> <laughs> that was the best. <laughs> and we are and live, we folks. <laughs> you guys are the worst. You guys are the absolute worst. And we are live, folks. Welcome to the Sit Down Standard, the podcast celebrating all the amazing things you can do while sitting, whether it's enjoying movies, watching television, or playing games. I'm your host, David Bray. I'm joined, as always, by Gerald Bales. Hi. And Jordan Peterson. Who's this I'm guy? I'm back. Who's That's this guy? Mr. Jordan Peterson to you. <laughs> <laughs> he is back. The prodigal what? son oh. has returned. Yes. The the there there is now three. I know all the fans were just like, where's so Jordan? many emails? Oh my god, so many emails is flooding the the email bag of where is Jordan? Shut down know. the Googles, the Gmails. <laughs> yeah, we had to <laughs> shut it all down. All right, so before we start moving into this podcast, we got to start with the same thing we start with every show. I know you've been off the show, but it's still the same, Jordan. That's good. I'm glad you didn't change it while I was gone. I thought I'd come back and everything would be shifted. People would be wearing crazy outfits. <laughs> we got uniforms now. Don't you understand? <laughs> He's dressed up like a banana. <laughs> like, I'm a banana. All right. What you doing? What you doing? What you doing? Ba -da -da -da. Ta -da. <laughs> All right. So since Jordan, you were gone the longest, I think this will probably take the longest. Oh, I know. What I, you doing, Jordan? Well, the reason I was gone, everybody out there, um, I've been, I, I mentioned it at the last one. I was, I'm selling my house and buying a new house, and it's taking up a lot of time. So I did sell my house, which is good, uh, but I had to get do a whole bunch of work. It was not fun or nerdy or fun to talk about, but <laughs> that's why I was gone. I, like I said, your house knew you were selling it, so it started falling apart. Oh God, yeah, I don't want to say <laughs> I don't want to say that on the air, but yeah, yeah. It, it did. I, your house I follows us on Instagram. <laughs> They'll figure, fix things the whole time. I don't know how they know. It's like if I didn't say I was selling it, everything would have been fine for like four more years. But yeah, as soon as you mention it to the universe, it comes back at you. Um, but it's but I did have time. You know, I wasn't able to make this stuff, but I did, and I I was I listened to Sit Down Standard. Oh, oh, there you go. That was what I've been doing. Excellent you know? podcast. Checking out you guys' podcast except good. for the most recent one because the. What is it called? Stitcher's down? Stitcher, yeah. Stitcher Radio's down right now, yeah. Yeah, there are like four or five other outlets you can listen to. I know, one. but I use Stitcher. I like Stitcher <laughs> a lot. It's awesome, convenient, and it wasn't up. So I didn't get to hear the end of the last one. But uh, I, I did hear you guys talk about The Witness. Did you ever start playing it, David? I have not played it yet. Um, I, You're the one who told us about it. I'm so, hey, listen, I got lots of other games to play. I'll get to that in a second. Uh, there's a game that's stolen me <laughs> essentially oh, yeah. you got a problem yeah i do have a problem at this <laughs> every point every night you want to no, I <laughs> yeah, text, David. Text, I like, things to do i told you i'm on a crappy internet guys. <laughs> <Yeah>. <laughs> so anyways how is the witness you enjoying it yeah it was pretty fun i heard you guys talking about uh mist we got it all wrong yes i i, I had a list of things to correct you guys i didn't bring it oh, <laughs> but this is what i remember there's no inventory system in mist I thought you can hold something you can hold one thing that's, that's an, an inventory, inventory system. System. not an inventory system that's how many things thing. can you hold in the witness I don't know. Zero. That's yeah. a good point. <laughs> <laughs> I haven't got to that part. But no, there's just here's a hand and he can hold one page. That's not inventory systems like Kyrandia, like the yeah, ones with like I know. You know, the eye button and you got stuff. Yeah, yeah, you gotta pick stuff so up. So tell tell me anyways, what you're thinking about the game. How's how far have you gotten? It's cool. I, I don't it is similar to Mist in some ways, but it's totally different in other ways. I, it, the whole puzzle having everything based around this certain type of puzzle. A line puzzle, right? Yep. Isn't that what it's the like? A line puzzle, yeah. It's cool, but I it's kinda like I don't know, limiting to me. And then having everything based on the puzzles before it is cool, except for like I stepped away for a couple of days and then I go back and I'm like, oh, I forgot. You I know I did that yeah. one before, but I can't. So I got to go so back. That's a memory problem, though. Yeah. That's, <laughs> that's, that's we, we, a problem. We played memory games, problems. yeah. Yeah, so I, I got to go back and figure out what the black and the whites mean. I can't remember. <laughs> I know I did it already. There's a separation thing. I got to redo it. But um, yeah, it's, it's it's a fun game. It's it's cool world. Um, I felt really smart when I figured like the first world out for first First line fast, and the, but then the next one, I was like, ah. <laughs> That's the thing about so. puzzle games I talked about. When you like solve a, like something you can't, you're like, I'll never get this, and then you finally get it. You you are literally the Albert Einstein. You're like, I'm the smart. No one else got this. That's what's great. No one's else gotten this far in the game. A, there's a lot of moments like that. In this That's game, awesome. Obviously. That's super cool. You, you were working on a puzzle for like two hours. Go to have lunch. Come back and solve it in five minutes. You're like, Ugh. yeah, totally. Yeah. But yeah, there was like one where I was like, I'm looking at it. I was like, this makes no sense. And then I turn around and there's like the answer. And I was like, oh, I've been staring at this <laughs> thing for like 15 minutes. All I need to do is turn around. Which, so which areas have you been in? Because I, I don't want to get too specific. I've only been, I've, I've only played it for like three or four hours. Okay. I have one laser. So I, I haven't put like a lot of time into it. Just, uh -huh. you know, kind of introductory. I couldn't even tell you what the names of the places are. I are there names? No, it's just like there's a desert area. There's the um, oh like the forest the, area. I yeah, did that. There's the, I the went to trees, a boat. The there's trees. like a boat, but I didn't yeah, that's how you travel around the island. No, there's like a big broken shipwreck. Oh, the boat, shipwreck. But I didn't figure that out yet. I got, did you I see the puzzle there, in there? And then I went back. Huh? There's one puzzle there. Yeah, I found it. it, but 
I was. I have no freaking idea. That's what I said. I was like, oh. And that, I guess that's joking. like that's one of the puzzles um, I've read on the internet. I haven't like looked up any solutions. Yeah, yet. sure. Sure, yeah. But that's that's like the one puzzle where it's like people. Are, it's really difficult. Oh yeah, yeah. It seems pretty hard. So I just went back. Yeah. But um, though I what I was working on the last one was where you run over the puzzle instead of doing it in the line. Yeah, it's it's a pain. So, <laughs> yeah, that one's. I got through like two of them, but uh, the third one I got stuck on. That's right by the boat shipwreck. Mm, yeah. But yeah, a really fun game. Um, it it was a little expensive. How much is it? It's forty, 40 bucks. bucks. Oh, and like for I don't know. I, I would, I would pay playing... that much for me. I know. I'm so used to playing retro games. Everything's free. Yeah, exactly. so like forty dollars. Yeah, and then I borrow your guys' games, which are free. So I guess it's, I should. It's time for me to pay for a game. Speaking but... of that, have you <laughs> jumped back into Batman at all? You borrowed Batman Arkham Knight. No, <laughs> and you haven't seen it on Halo Five, man. No. Or any Xbox One games. <laughs> yeah, I played. I know this is the most expensive Ori in the Blind Forest <laughs> game ever. Because <laughs> it's the only game I played. It cost me like you know two hundred dollars or something. Um, the other things I've been. Oh, of course, I missed the Super Bowl conversations. Do, you Who know, are you going for? I, I really thought Panthers were going to win. Yeah, yeah definitely. I really. Thought, I think a lot of people. I was going to put money down, but I got lazy. And I'm so glad. <laughs> <laughs> so glad I got lazy. But yeah, it wasn't. I wasn't that excited about the game. We talked about that a little bit. It was kind of. Yeah, it was boring. Well, it's a know. defensive game. All, all defensive games are relatively boring. I mean, if you're a football like nah, you know, I mean, purist, had, yeah, it's fun. But it had a couple of good turnovers and things that were fun to watch. Um, but it, yeah, it, it didn't seem Seen close. Cam Crow. It's not fun. even about it being defensive. <laughs> it's about it being close. It never felt close. It just felt like. Oh, are the Panthers going to come back? And, no, uh, they never came no. back. Well, I don't know. When you're one score away, that's always close to me. Yeah, so but they were one score away points. for like a minute. <laughs> and yeah. then it was just like, okay, they kicked the field goal. Now Did you catch uh, Eli Manning's reaction when Peyton won? He was kind of like, pissed. Yeah, I know. So like, I saw that, and the internet is ablaze. With yeah. like, Eli, you're such a jerk. But like, <laughs> no, I, what too. I think, what people were saying too, it's like, well, and his dad was right next to him, not really cheering at all as well. It's like, both of them know, his dad and him, like they've been in football for a long time. They know the game's not over until it's over. So like, don't celebrate until you actually win. No, I get He's that. He's not celebrating ever. Right, we're talking about maybe, maybe, okay. maybe you guys are right. Where he's just like, oh no, he has two rings and Damn five it. MVPs. Yeah, well, like I have yeah. no more bragging rights anymore. I sent a, I sent it to you guys. Do you guys talk about the? Um, I googled Manning Super Bowl rings. Yeah, and then it popped up with a picture of Eli, and the subtitle said like Peyton Manning's the best quarterback ever. And I was like, that is so awesome. <laughs> yeah, the picture of the faces everyone. Knows, so. <laughs> so yeah, I could definitely understand why he pissed, but I don't want to talk about Super Bowl that much. But I did miss those fun conversations, so that sucks. Don't miss um, the don't miss the podcast anymore, buddy. I know. I, I got Find to, a way. Well, I have the move coming up, and then I have uh, yeah buying the next house. But just buy I'll all your stuff. Many, I'll make as many as I can. <laughs> Um, and then we had the Comic Bento. Yes, we did a unboxing video of Comic Bento's January 2016 uh, Bento box. One of them, uh, oh, the comics, was uh, Superior Iron Man. It's a really good video, guys. It was missing a little something. Yeah, it was missing yeah, a little something. something. Big something. That's what I was going to say. Right? <laughs> <laughs> That's awesome. Uh, but no, great comic. This was awesome. So give me, give me the one. synopsis. Because um, obviously this came out in the gray area. So each each month, uh, Comic Bento has kind of a theme. And in this theme was the gray area. So it's characters kind of acting in the gray, kind of doing a little shady stuff. So I'm guessing Iron Man in here is... Yeah, he's like a bad guy, basically. He's the bad guy, basically. Um, what he does is uh, Extremist. He comes out with Extremist 3.0, which uh, he... I don't know if I should give too much of it away, but basically but, he infects all of San Francisco with extremists 3.0, and what it does is it makes everybody like a supermodel. It like fixes every problem, so everyone's like perfect. Can I get some of that? Right. Yeah. Okay, but then uh, it wears off in three days, and to get it back, they have an app on their phone, and they have to pay $99. Oh, a day. wow. Uh, microtransactions. <laughs> <laughs> so then he, and Worth then, it. <laughs> and then he like goes around, and he's like, oh, today, if you want, um, if you're within six feet of me, you get free extremist so then he's got like crowds of people flocking to him like he's a god and that's stuff. so cool what a jerk and, uh, i love it that's yeah, awesome that's so a cool that's, it's that's a cool, cool story but and then uh his it's so is modern super too, awesome yeah. he uh took he got a symbiote like venom symbiote and he did like dissected it and cr- took the technology created technology out of it so his suit is a symbiote it's not a symbiote but it's technology based off a of symbiote so okay. it, like clings to him like a symbiote yeah and uh yeah so the metal is it's pretty cool that's cool the way he like just sucks it on to himself now and that's and the course, f- that's the first volume right so it does it, it I'm i think guessing... there's only two i think there's only two volumes okay sp- and of course story. this this comic has the this guy yeah it. david bray is oh, in it. world that premiere was crazy. we talked about that on the last one yeah so i'm in the marvel universe apparently there's a david bray in that was this... the most crazy coincidence i've ever had yeah because this is the first month that we that we got comic bento 
And this was, they give you random comics. They don't tell you what they're going to give you. And then the random comic that they sent us has my name in it. Yeah, and so I, he gave me the, David Bray gave me a comic book and I'm reading through it and it says, what's your name? David Bray. And I was like, oh my God, they, they personalized this. That's what that I was thought. amazing. That's what I thought. I took a picture and said to you, I was like, that's incredible. And then you looked it up and it's an actual character in yeah. the world. It, it, that was a, a really, and he only shows up in this one. Yeah, he's like, only that, in that episode. What are the chances, in that right? issue. That is the craziest coincidence ever. Um, but yeah, Daredevil was the good guy in it. And that's he's cool. trying to battle. Um, but the, he gives him, he. Don't give away too much here. Ah, oh, dang. You know, okay. Don't fine. don't give away because I, I want to read it. I still yeah, want to read it. it. I want to read it too. I'm not gonna say who wins, but uh, yeah, Daredevil does get affected by the. Experience. Well, there's a second volume, so I don't think Iron Man's dead yet or anything. But... No, no, <laughs> it, yeah, it just got I, it unveil. There's an unveil at the end of. You cool. know. But from what you're telling me, and from what I read, because I read one of the comics, uh, Lola XOXO, it's a really good value. Comic Bent does really cool. It's twenty bucks basically a month. I know, kind of made me want to get it. I, yeah, it does. I, it's a it's, it's a really cool. cool. Yeah, I mean, they give you some stuff that's kind of stuff you know, like Superior Iron Man, but then they also send you some stuff that you might not be aware of, and then it kind of introduces you. I'm hooked on Lola XOXO. It's awesome. Very very cool. How many are those? those There's a, so that's the first volume, but it's issues one through six, and I believe it's three volumes. Um, they haven't. Even that's not bad. Even if you're hooked, you know, it's not. Yeah, it's, it seems like. I mean, the one thing I was saying about that in the last podcast, it's a pretty straightforward story. I mean, it's like a traditional post-apocalyptic story, but it's it's the artwork is incredible, um, and the action is fun. Um, so it's good for the price. It is worth it. That's the part that's because, like, you know, right? I mean, this one, like we talked about, it, it's, it's twenty dollars, which is a ridiculous price because it's like four comics actually together. And yeah, each comic would be like five, five bucks. bucks or whatever. Yeah. Um, but yeah, for you to get like four comics in this one. Probably the Lola one looked thick. Yeah, uh, I think that one's like fifteen because it's not there as a well hardcover known. in there too. Yeah, it's not as well known. But how many? Because is it binding together like multiple issues? Yeah, of it's the six Lola? issues. So it's six issues. So I mean, we're talking between thirty those bucks. Two, that's ten books, uh, ten comics. Well, one, wasn't the other books here. one of the other books a hardcover too? Yeah. So that they always the, the one thing they give you too. One of the comics will be a hard a hardcover. So that's it's it's a really good value. But I'll put a link in the the show notes. So if you do want to order it, um, you could do that. Just go to their website and, and get it ordered and check it out because it's really really cool. But that's pretty much me caught up. Cool. So, uh, Gerald, what you, what you doing? <laughs> uh, a little bit of stuff. I was uh, working from California this past week Yes, um, at the, our main office. I uh, talked about a chili cook-off last week. Yes. How'd it go? I, I won the chili cook-off. Nice. Yeah, it was good five, chili. Out of five of us that participated, I won, which is cool. I did make it in a hotel room <laughs> That's using a hotel dishes. So, do you know how hard it is to mince garlic? Using a plate <laughs> as your cutting board and like a crappy knife. That is rough. It was no. worse. But hey, I won. Did you did you do it was it blind taste testing? How did they do it? Yeah, or did you have were, to come out and like present like okay, this is a, a foie gras. No, uh, it wasn't, it wasn't like chop status. <laughs> okay. There were just five bowls with numbers written on them. People came up and wrote which number was their favorite. You know what? They don't even need the number thing because I did a chili cook off before. It's the one that's empty. <laughs> yeah. there's like mine, one. mine was the only one that was empty. <laughs> see, that you lunch, don't even so. need to judge. It's just there's one bowl that's empty. Everybody else is full to the rim. Yeah, I'm glad I, I kept the recipe relatively the same. I just added a little bit more of the spice to it just to give Secret it a little bit spice. more of a kick. Yeah, but it was it was really good. Um, yeah, so I was really happy. I won a ten dollar Xbox Live gift card. What? Nice. And a little uh, trophy. Our giveaway was way cooler than that. <laughs> you work on your giveaway with talk the chili cook off. It was the first annual. You, know, you got to give it a shot. <laughs> That's cool, though. That's cool you guys did that. Yeah, what else have I been doing? Um, let's see. Uh, I played Shovel Knight. It's a game that came out last year, I think. Yeah, it came out on... I want to say it's on Wii originally, I think is what it came out. Or yeah. Wii U. And then they've, they've ported it to PS4 and PC. And Xbox One. And Xbox One, yeah. Have you have you seen Shovel Knight? No. It's probably right beyond. Yeah. So it's like eight bit, but it's um it's like a Mega Man platformer kind of style game, but it has inventory system. It has different. I mean, I guess technically Mega Man does too. Wait, but one, it has they can hold one thing. <laughs> I already <laughs> knew that. I already knew that was gonna be. Uh, but anyways, but uh, I don't like it. <laughs> it's really it's really hard <laughs> it's gotten a lot of positive Plus. reviews though but you don't yeah, like it's it. fun like i like the aesthetic of the game obviously it does take me back to those times but it's really freaking hard and i'm really not good at platforming games like i look at Mega Man. i loved Mega Man 2 was kind of like the classic yeah that's yeah. the best I, one i remember loving that game as a kid but give it to me now i'm like this game's it's so hard like, yeah yeah you gotta put a lot of time into just repeating it over and over yeah and over. so i'm unfortunately i don't have the time to sit there and grind through it yeah grind through it but it's a it's a cool game i guess if you're into that but me not so much but it, what do you do that, with the it, inventory is it so you, yeah so later in the, or you get gold throughout the levels you do and then you can you can buy stuff and then you end up getting magic magical items so i have like this little torch thing where i can throw a little fireball um but you can upgrade your gear your shovel and all that kind of stuff ah 
Makes but yeah, sense. very cool. The music is really good. I did like that about the game and the sounds and stuff. Is it 8 bit music? It is 8 bit. Nice. Chip tune style. Um, other than that, uh, oh, get off my lawn. Okay, we got to get off my All lawn. Right. Here we yeah. go. So I bought this game called Prism. Actually, it's underscore Prism on uh, iOS. It came out. No, wait, is it underscore the word or actual underscore Prism? Underscore the symbol. Okay. And the word Prism. Okay. <laughs> <laughs> if it was just a line and a prism, like a shape of How do I type a prism? Like, wow. <laughs> it's like Prince. It's just a symbol. Is that yeah. you? Okay. So, wh- so why anyway, are you upset? So it's, it's a puzzle game. Um, if anybody's played The Room, The Room 2 or The Room 3. Excellent game. I played The Room. It's good. Yeah, so much fun. So it's like that where you have these little, you move these little sliders and sometimes you have to like use three fingers on your iPad or a Really fun rap my alley. I loved all The Room games. Um, it's three bucks. Like it's not bad, you know. If you get some worthwhile worthwhile out of it, uh, ended up playing it on my flight back to Vegas. Okay, and I beat it halfway through, and that's a forty five minute flight. I'm like this is totally not worth three dollars. Is that just me being like, yeah, used to mobile games now? Yeah, there's there's like there's five areas, uh, and there's three, four, and five puzzles per area, and that's it. How long did the room take you? The room took me about probably four or five hours. Really? Yeah, yeah I, don't, I don't remember taking... I, I mean, it probably was... was pretty easy. Oh. <laughs> just this guy. Uh, did like, you play The Room 3? It just came out. No, I, didn't, oh, I didn't play The Room 2 either. I just oh, they're the both room, really good. The original. You just play my OG. So th- this, but, uh, this is a general problem that I have with, with that. You're, it's like, I'll play 60 bucks for a game, but like like I bought Just Cause 3 for $60. I don't think I've gotten that much of, uh, value out of it, but I don't have a problem doing that. But $3 for the game that lasts me 45 minutes... That's that a good, that seems like you a really good value. Through, we just went and saw a movie. No, I beat it on my way back to Vegas. Oh, you you completely finished it. I finished the game. Oh, in forty five minutes. Yeah, that's a little rough. Yeah, well, yeah, you just paid ten dollars to go see a movie that co- takes two hours. It's almost the exact same ratio. I had a lot more fun watching that movie than well. I then that's game. then the time. I mean, it was a cool game. It was going wrong. It was well, that's fun. what I'm saying. Then the time to money ratio shouldn't be. It's it's your enjoyment to the money ratio. That's regardless the of medium. Yes, it should be. Okay, if 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 we're gonna go, okay, I'm not gonna go. There. <laughs> I know I, where you're gonna go. I know where I'm gonna go. I'm not gonna go there. But uh, let's say time to money value, time to of enjoyment to money spent is never a good uh, analysis in my opinion because we we spend a lot of money and a lot of time on things that sometimes don't take any time whatsoever. I think it's just disappoint. I think it's a disappointment factor. You're enjoying yourself. You're having a good time, <laughs> and then it all of a sudden it's over. Yeah, I think that's. In, in, I don't know what. How much was the room when it came out? I think it was probably like four ninety nine. It was. It was free, more expensive. Three ninety nine. Oh, for our Android, <laughs> right? Android. I don't know. I feel like the the first room game, like it was like five bucks, and I got way more time out of it than this game. Maybe yeah. you were no, just I'm worse just, at games I'm, back then. Maybe, but it did. It is. It just. It's a new game. I'm hoping maybe it'll come out like an update and it'll add a new thing of levels, and then maybe it's. Twice the value for three bucks. I also just think generally everything is ninety nine cents. So like anything that's not ninety nine cents already comes in with this like oh this better be really good. But it's if only it's three dollars. <laughs> yeah, that's what I'm saying. It's three dollars. I, no, I know. I know. Uh, there's no way I buy. No, it. I know, but that's what I'm saying. Like, there's already that barrier of like, why is this so expensive? I like got it because it's like it's like the room, but like more futuristic. I was like, I should I write that on the podcast. It's like the room, but a podcast. <laughs> 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 and see how many people pay three to three dollars to watch it. <laughs> no, but it's the same thing. Like, I see a lot of uh, board games in on the app app store. So, like Carcassonne. If you buy Carcassonne, I think the physical version probably on Amazon is somewhere around twenty bucks. If you buy the version on iOS, it's seven ninety nine or eight ninety nine. I'm like. No, like that's too much. It needs to be like three ninety nine. But at the same time, I'm like, it's the whole game. You know what I mean? I pay twenty dollars just because it's a little piece of cardboard. It's it's the game. It's you know, I don't know. Yeah, but it's like it, it's free to distribute. Like if the actual physical game, you got to like produce and manufacture something. It's not free to like. distribute. Yeah. You got to host those files on. Well, does Apple host them? Actually, I didn't think about that. Yeah, I don't think. Well, you have to pay developers. Much. You have to pay. Oh yeah, you got to marketing. The, like there's other stuff involved. But yeah, I get what you're saying. I'm just saying there's a there's a value to me holding something. I I hate it the sale of data it's like it's data like it just it should be free all data should be free everybody all right you socialist <laughs> okay here we go <laughs> got bernie sanders over here and a free internet <laughs> did you uh do you ever play the game hiver series no it's you should it's free well i don't know what it is on the iphone <laughs> it's yeah, you're anti. Android. but uh it's really good it's similar it's like the room you should check it out yeah, all those little puzzles I love this game. it is so good anyway I, it so feel so smart yeah so i was kind of disappointed with that but other than that uh that's pretty much it 
David, what you doing? I'll tell you what I what I'm what you doing. Uh, I am knee deep in Tabletop Simulator. This game has got its claws in me. Yeah, we talked about it a little bit last week. We did kind of a review of it, um, and I keep going down this rabbit hole. I've been up staying up really late playing tabletop because here's the problem with tabletop simulator it's not really it's a problem that i have um so i'll go on at like 11 o'clock 10 o'clock at night and i'm like hey i'm gonna play up uh, by the way if you don't know what tabletop simulator is it's basically a uh it's all these different board games that you can play online with friends or you can meet people online and play with them and they're like actual digital versions of the game now again the game the the version of it is just a kind of a digital picture of it of the cards and everything um, but so I went on there and I started playing some games. I played Lords of Waterdeep, which were all three of us are huge fans of. Can't right. recommend that game enough. It's a great. They have a great version on Tabletop Simulator. But here's the thing: I went on and I started at like ten o'clock. I was like, "Oh, I'll play!" You know, it takes like ninety minutes to play. Well, we played with five people, and they're like, and when we started, they were like, "Oh, we have some house rules. Like everyone gets five um, five agents instead of two, which is normally how oh, long." Wow. So the game went on for like an hour and a half, and we're only like one third of the way through. And I'm like. Well, I don't want to leave at this point. That's kind of a jerky thing to do. So I stayed <laughs> up and played till like one thirty in the morning. Uh, but I had such a great time. It was so much fun. We were joking. You can you have mics. You can joke around and you can draw on the table. Uh, and then like you can disable because we were talking about one thing you can do is flip the table. One guy like clearly towards the end just was killing it, just winning like crazy. And everyone's trying to flip the table. And at the bottom it says like this person tried to flip the table, but it's been disabled, so they're too weak to flip it or something like that. But I played that. I played. Um, uh, code names, which again we're huge fans of. It's actually a better version of that game in digital form because normally your visual cues can give away things in the game because one person's giving clues and the other person's trying to or guess. When you're Jordan, your little mouse is giving it away. You're like, <laughs> <laughs> hey, we can see your mouse, Jordan. <laughs> yeah, um, but it's it's fantastic. I cannot recommend it enough. I even got a chance to play uh, a game called Blood Rage, which I don't own the physical copy yet, but I've been wanting to get a copy. But it's it's like seventy bucks. It's it comes with all these miniatures and stuff like that. So I got the free version online instead. Right, but I got a chance to play it to see because everyone's buzzing about this game. It's uh, Viking themed. It's got area control. It's got card drafting. It's got all these cool mechanics, great little miniatures. And, and the tabletop version, the tabletop simulator version has all, someone made, God bless whoever did this, made all the little miniatures. They look, you zoom in, they've got all the detail. God bless whoever's abusing copyright on these items. No, but I mean the time to. <laughs> probably make it in China. Probably. But I played it and I'm a huge, now I'm like, I got, so I purchased the game because I, I got a chance to play it. And I was asking people when I was playing, I'm like, why are publishers allowing this? It makes no sense. Like, they're giving away co- free copies of their game, and, and I think that's the example here. The prime example is I got a chance to play Blood Rage in, in a digital space and see if I really do want to uh, put my hard-earned 70 bucks into it, and I did, and now I, I did buy it. So that Honestly, part I, of the I advertising works. Sad, though. They're not making money from it, so they're not, they're not going to go against these people that are, are making money. No, but I'm saying at the same time, there are versions like Cosmic Encounter, Epic, uh, Tiny Epic Galaxy, uh, Euphoria. Think... There's versions of certain games that you actually have to pay DLC for, but I'd say 90, 99% of the games out there are... Are free. are free to me though there's like you always use the bear of entry right it is you need to know how to play the game thoroughly like or right. have somebody that can explain it to you well plus there's like there's mechanics it's not super user friendly no i mean you, well, you gotta get used to it it's like it and now that i'm kind of played a few we played some over the last week um, I I, I, feel I text it you now guys every night. Every I'm like, single night. TTS. Night. What are those play? What are we gonna play? <laughs> like, oh no, I got things to do. <laughs> um, but yeah, no, it, it's not like anybody's just sitting down and playing these games. It's not an app on your iPhone. And you're not gonna join a public the, server and be like, hey guys, how do you play this board game? It's no, like, that's it the do thing. The rules that, for no, you. no, but that's the thing. I did that. I went. I didn't know how to play Blood Rage, so I went on. Th- the other three, there was four people. You uh, are and, unique, though. Why? Because you love board games <laughs> like you <laughs> you will pass whatever ba- bar there is to pass that's to get true. into that's these true. board games like, I'll just, I got the PDF like, pulled up on my other like, monitor guys go ahead <laughs> right. I, actually, like, I actually did do that you're like, I, I quickly read rules. through the novel of the board <laughs> rules like I, I don't think that most casual players plus like I said it doesn't do it you roll the dice it doesn't move your guy for you you need to move your guy yeah. you gotta do this there's no rules set for you I just saying but it's a certain group that's really enjoying it and those people have walls of board games like this. And so I don't think you're really, if anything, you are selling games to those people. And that's why, that's why, that's the only reason it makes sense. Stealing games from these people. I do like it for us though, because then we could just sit at home and no, it's great. these games yeah. for us. And I'm yeah. not going to buy them anyway. I just play David's versions. Yeah. Right. <laughs> well, that's the whole thing. I keep thinking in my head when I'm playing is I'm like, at least I have a hard copy so I can be like, if anybody got mad at me, I'll be like, I own a copy of the game. Like I could, you know what I mean? I'm just 
I, you know, whatever. It's like if you if copy anything, music the, that you own. Right. The game, the board game people, they should advertise it. Once you buy it, you have like a little code to put it in. And yeah, that would be cool. for free. Like, because it is cool. And it's and so maintenance you to on play their with yeah. your friends that you wouldn't be able to play with. I mean, we could play with like Dace in New York or something. Yeah. yeah. Well, the thing too that I, and I get your point about me being like the bearer of entry, but at the same time, like the bearer, like it, Blood Rage is not a, it's a heavy game that no casual gamer is going to play. It takes, you know, two hours to essentially play. It took so me, you're not going to have your novice user yeah, browsing the server. Right. Oh, Blood Rage, what's that? But it is, it is a excellent, excellent thing. So that's one of the things I did. And, uh, we talked about this and we, we do a Q&A, by the way, before we do the podcast. We, we, uh, do a live broadcast of our podcast on Scoop Periscope. It. Broadcast the podcast. Yeah, it's very cool. But anyways, <laughs> we talked about this in that, um, me and Gerald went and saw Deadpool. We did. 